New Zealand cricket has a significant gap to fill after the Black Caps coach Mike Hessen made a shock resignation today. After six years in what he describes as an all-consuming role, Hessen says he wants to spend more time with his wife and two daughters. He says he can no longer give the job the 100% commitment it requires, especially with just a year until the next World Cup. Some of the highlights of Hessen's tenure were a place in the 2015 World Cup final and the strengthening of the Black Caps test match record. The team ascended to number one in the world in 2020, second in one day internationals and third in tests during his time in charge. Sports reporter Clay Wilson caught up with Hessen after his announcement in Auckland today and started by asking if it had been a tough and emotional decision. Oh look it is, I mean it's because it means a lot. Um, you know, it's six years of my life that um, I've loved every minute of it, but I've, you know, I've committed 100% to the role for six years. So to just one day decide that you know, you're not going to do that again is off next year is, um, yeah, is takes a lot of thought, um, and it does. Yeah, I guess I'm emotional because it means a lot. You spoke a little bit about it up there about not wanting to split up the roles and potentially step down from say a 2020 tour or a tour or two. Was that that was quite a strong thing in your mind? Not to you wanted to commit 100 percent to it. Look, I've missed two days of cricket in six years, um, and I've found those hard. Um, and I think it's it's not one of those jobs you can go on holiday. You know, you just while well, the team's playing, you know, you're you're fully immersed in the job, um, and I think that's what the job requires. Um, you know, whether other people that come in have different views to that, then that's entirely up to them. But that's the way I've sort of lived the role. Um, I've given it everything. And um, if you can't give it 100%, then I think it's, well, you don't have the capacity to do it, then you just give someone else a crack. Obviously the relationships and that are a big part of it and a big highlight, but in terms of the cricket itself, do you have any personal highlights that come to mind over your, your time? Look, I think Test Series wins away from home and Test wins away... Uh, real fond memories and obviously winning first test series ever in the West Indies was big um, you know winning tests in England um, were, were big you know one at Leeds um, and also uh, you know the test match in Sharjah for a different thing but you know winning a test match over there um, with what the group was going through at the time was was a very special time um, and obviously the one day memories the World Cup and, and a whole of a series and bits and pieces there all um, yeah, memories that certainly reflect on fondly in time. Just looking forward now, you're going to have some time. What's going to be, you know, day to day for you for the next little while? I've got school swimming tomorrow, so um, I'll obviously play a role there. But look, I think it's just um, sharing the load a little bit with, with Kate and, um, and it'll, you know, that integration will take a little bit of time, having, you know, spend nine to ten months a year away, um, you know, spending some time uh, at home being a dad and also, you know, just taking stock of where we are and, and where we want to go. Just finally, I know you've got to have some downtime, but I mean, is it something that you would like to come back to? I guess when you decide you want to get back and do it. Is, oh, look, is I'm only 43 and I'm a cricket coach, and um, you know, I think that if I'm a better coach now than I was six years ago, I'd like to think I'll be a better coach again in time. So I guess when you leave at 43, you, um, you never shut the door on anything, and I certainly love my time at New Zealand cricket. That's the Black Caps coach Mike Hesson speaking to Clay Wilson after his resignation today. And Hesson officially steps down from July the 31st with New Zealand Cricket Chief Executive David White saying the planning for who could replace him is already well advanced.